Onslaught. Now that's an awesome name for a shooter. But does a great name translate to a great game? Uh, not really. I fully expect this to be one of my more unpopular reviews, since this game has a rabid fan base, and I just don't know why. Are we owners really that desperate for an online first-person shooter that they'll embrace a mediocre one? I guess the answer from all the requests for this game is yes, they will. Now, I'm not saying the game is terrible. It's just more uninspired. The graphics in the game look good overall, but the main problem I had with the game was that everything was just too overused. There were about five to six enemy models, and they used them over and over again. The game is unique in its mission structure. They give you an objective and a time limit. I didn't mind the objectives, even though they were kind of simple, like get to the end of the level, destroy all the hives, or stop the bugs for a set amount of time. It was the time limit that bothered me the most. It was completely unnecessary. There was a time limit on levels that didn't even need them. Why exactly did I have to destroy all these hives in less than 30 minutes? Why not just let us enjoy the levels? The level designs felt like they were only designed to get your character from point A to point B. I enjoy first person shooters for the gameplay itself, not just the killing of bad guys. That's why I loved Quantum of Solace so much. There were a few levels that were just fun to replay because of the fun level designs. There were no sections in this game that I would want to replay due to their fun level designs. It was just one plain world or a cave with a bunch of bugs littered in it. It just wasn't that creative. In fact, I was really bored while playing this game after a while, as most of the game will just fight the same brainless enemies over and over again. It did get a little bit better when you took control of a tank-like vehicle. It was fun to blast away the enemies, only because I knew I wouldn't have to deal with them. The best times in this game were when you had to fight a boss enemy. Those were normally challenging and helped break up the monotony of the game. You start the game with four weapons, which can easily be switched between with the D-pad. These weapons have different impacts on the bugs, and you'll find different weapons are more effective on different kinds of bugs. As you're killing the many bugs that you come across, you're occasionally going to have to swipe your nunchuck to wipe off the corrosive acid blood that the bugs will ooze out. If you don't, your health will go down. There's also a laser whip that you can use to change up the action a little, but I hardly ever used it. Now the big deal of this game is the online capability of the game. The online game worked well. The online is just like the single player game, as they give you an objective and you have to finish it in a time limit. Ugh. Great. An online experience that replicates the boring single player game. It was a little bit more fun with the other real players, but not that much more. If you're out there looking for a good first person shooter for the Wii, Rent Quantum of Solace. The online is getting better and the single player game is great. Now I know the game is only $10 and that might seem cheap, but to me $10 is still $10 and I still can't recommend this game, even at that cheap price. I'm sorry to all the onslaughters out there that may actually enjoy this game. I didn't, so I think you should skip it.